Hi, how are you? It's been a while. I haven't done a video in a while, so it's time to do one. And yes, I have my notes. Um, but I want to know, why do you keep talking yourself out of being successful? Um, you've been thinking about tossing brochures. You've been thinking about calling the beauty shops. You've been thinking about going into some of the businesses. But you're afraid someone's going to tell you no. You don't toss because you're afraid someone's going to get irritated with you or they might not like a brochure in their driveway. Um, so you just don't do anything and then you're not getting any new customers because you're not doing anything. <laughs> and then you want to give up. But why? why? What's holding you back? You're holding yourself back. Why? Because you're scared. So what if someone gets mad? My last brochure toss um, I did earlier this week, I had a bunch of old brochures sitting here, campaigns four, five, six, seven, and you know we're in campaign 10 now. But I wasn't throwing them in the garbage. I just had these books left over from when I was sick and I didn't get them out. So I put them in the bags. I put my little letter in it that says, why is there an Avon brochure in your driveway? And I toss them. <clears throat> That very day, during while I was tossing, I got a text from somebody about throwing my crap in their driveway. I kept going. When I got home that night, there was a message from somebody. She was very upset. She's not going to take further action, but she just needed to let me know how upset she was. And I did try to call her back to apologize, and um, she didn't answer the phone. But the next day, I got an $88 direct delivery order on my web store on my e-store. So while I did upset a few people by throwing brochures in their driveway, um, I also got a new customer. And yeah, some, I have hair in my face, sorry. Some people do get upset and it doesn't matter what you do. You could hang them on doors and somebody's going to call you and say, don't leave a brochure on my door. But if you're not putting yourself out there, you're not going to get the customers. Um, You know, would it have been better if I hung them on doors? I probably would have got a better response. Probably wouldn't have annoyed as many people. But um, I had all those brochures, and I needed to get them out. And it would have taken me days if I was going to hang them on doors because I can't walk a whole lot in one time. And, <laughs> and I did something to my wrist. I don't know what I did. I think I have tendonitis from stuffing all those um, those brochures in the in the bags. So I was. I was putting together brochures today, so this is what I'm doing. I'm mailing a bunch of brochures to some of my representatives that haven't placed orders in a while and that, um, that were removed. So while I'm doing that, prepping those brochures today, I realized that's what I did. I think it's from the books, doing the labels and, and prepping the brochures. I, I, but old Avon injury. <laughs> no, I'm not a football player. No, I'm not a skier. I'm just the Avon lady, and I still hurt myself. But um, my point is this. Even though I might get some nasty phone calls, and I expect it, I, I, you know, it's just, it is what it is. People are going to get annoyed. I can't imagine somebody being so upset about an Avon brochure, but they just are. But I do it because I know that I'm going to get customers as well, and that my business is going to grow. So go toss the brochures, or hang them on doors, or knock on the doors, or go to the beauty shops, or go to the businesses. Um... You know, if you just keep those brochures in the boxes in your in your bedroom or in your laundry room or in the back of your car, they're not going to be finding new customers. You're going to throw them in the garbage. You're not going to get new customers. And then you're going to be frustrated. Then you're going to give up and say this didn't work because you weren't out there talking to people or putting the books out. So just get them out there. Stop, stop being afraid. Stop being scared. Stop talking yourself out of your success. Um, this is another thing, and I see comments all the time in the Facebook groups um, with people saying, oh, I want to put a coupon in the brochure. Um, should I do it? What should I do? Just do it. Stop overthinking everything. Stop overanalyzing it. Stop. Just, you want to put a coupon in the brochure? Put a coupon in the brochure. Put them out there. See if you can get some new customers. It, what works in my area might not work in yours. What works in your area might not work in mine. Um, the customers like this, they don't like that, whatever. But try it, because you're not going to know if you don't. And try it a couple times. Maybe it doesn't work the first time, but maybe it'll work the next couple times you try it. So, um, this too. I see this a lot. I got an email, someone said they want to buy products. Is it a scam? 
Maybe. Maybe it's a scam. Maybe it's not. A lot of times it is a scam, but if you don't respond to that email, you're not going to know. Maybe it is a customer that wants to place an order with you. So just reply to it. You'll know if it's a scam. It's going to have really poor grammar. It's going to say they're in the area for a photo shoot or a wedding or they need gifts for something. And then they're going to want to send you a check. And then they're going to want their shipper to pick it up. And it's, you'll know it's a scam. You'll know if it's not a legitimate customer. But respond to the email. There's, they're not going to, it's just an email. Respond to it. See if it's a real customer. If it's not a real customer and they want all this, just delete it. And then remove them from your address book in the web office. And, you know, I, I've gotten them I don't know how many times over the years. I don't respond. I don't, you know, I mean, once I know that it's a scam, I have it set, you know, so if I get the email, I email them back and say, how can I help you with Avon? And then if, if it's one of those scam emails, I just delete it and I remove them from my address book. Um, and another thing, too, I see this, too. What if, I, you know, I don't want to put my phone number on my windows on my car, or I don't want to leave brochures out there because what if some, some creep calls me? I can't say that I've ever really had a creep call me because my phone number's on my van or because, or my truck or my car or because I left the Avon brochures out there. I haven't gotten any weirdos. And you might. I'm not saying you won't. But if I do, I'll just deal with it. You know, I, I get customers all the time from leaving my books out there. And there's been times I've been a little like, uh, I, and it's, some of them have been men customers, and I would have my husband or one of my sons go with me to do the delivery, or I'd have him meet me at Dunkin' Donuts, have him meet you in a public place. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to put myself at risk for any of this. But think about it. Be safe. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, I, I want to grow my business. I want the sales. I want the customers. I want... Um, the potential recruits. So the only way I'm going to get them is to put myself out there. Um, just like I said, play it safe. Don't put yourself in a dangerous situation because you want to sail. Um, but stop talking yourself out of being successful. The other thing, and I, I'm going to say it again, and you guys are probably sick of hearing me say this, but the follow-up, you know, my favorite F word, F you, follow-up. Some people say, oh, I don't want to be pushy. You're not being pushy. You're offering good customer service. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone, call, text, email, whatever, and just say, I'm putting my order in tomorrow. Was there anything you needed from the brochure I left you the other day? You weren't interested. I didn't want you to miss out. It can be very simple. They're either going to say yes or they're going to say no. <clears throat> Sorry. Dry mouth here. But, um... I don't think I've ever really had anybody upset that I was calling them asking for their orders. As a matter of fact, I had customers in the past that told me the only way I'm going to get the order from them is if I call them because they're busy and Avon's not their number one priority. But if I call them, they, you know, might have an order for me. So um, don't be afraid of that. And the other thing is, and I thought I had an Avon brochure in front of me. Wait, oh, I have one behind me. Um, the French fries on the back of the book, you know, don't be afraid when you're taking the orders from the customers to say, oh, did you see the lipstick on the back of the book? It's only $4.99. Um, would you like to try one? Or the foot cream or whatever. Avon puts those products on the back of the book for us. That's a great way to increase your order size, to get the customers to try something that they haven't tried already. Or maybe they, you know, maybe they do. It's the shower gels and they're like, oh yeah, they are $1.99. Let me stock up. Maybe they never turned the book over and noticed that on the back page. But don't be afraid to um, ask for the sale. Don't be afraid to offer a French fries. Like no one's gonna get mad at you. Don't. Do you get mad when you're at Burger King and they ask you, do you want fries with that? Well, I kind of do because I get mad. Then I'm telling them yes, and I really don't want the fries. I don't need them. I don't need an extra five pounds on my hips. But, <laughs> but don't. You know, no one like no one screams at you because you, you, you know, they, no one screamed at them because they offered them French fries. So I'm, I'm sure no one's going to scream at you if you say, um, did you see the lipsticks on the back cover? Would you like to try one? What color can I get for you? It's just a way to, um, to, uh, uh, again, offering good customer service. Um, the other thing, and, and I'm going to, be finished this I didn't want this to be long and it is because I just keep talking but one of the other things too add your customers to or your contacts even they don't even have to be a customer yet but don't be afraid to put people's information in your web office address book 
and use the marketing emails that Avon has. Set it so that the, um, Avon sends the marketing emails to them every campaign. And the specials, all those email specials where they get free shipping or they get the free product bundle or the Earth Day thing, they get a free tote bag. Like those e those specials will be emailed to your, your customers and to just your contacts. Maybe they haven't ordered from you yet, but if they get those emails, they might. And sometimes, you know, I hear, oh, I'm afraid. What if they get mad? What if they don't want emails every day? They, I've never had anyone mad at me. I've had people ask me to stop sending them the emails and I unsubscribe them. Um, or they unsubscribe themselves. But I get emails every day from Macy's and JCPenney's and Staples and, and Sears. And I don't get mad. I don't, I'm never shopping at Sears again. They keep send, sending me emails every day. I either open them and look to see what the special is or I delete them. But they're there if I want something. If I shop at Staples, I, oh, I need, I, the other day I needed paper. So I clicked on the um, Staples emails to see if they had a special. And sure enough, I, there was a, um, <clears throat> $30 rebate on the paper that I needed a case of. So that was good. If I didn't get those um, emails, I wouldn't have that special. I'd be paying $50 for my case of paper. So it's not, you know, it's a way to increase your business and to get the sales. Stop talking yourself out of it. Stop being afraid. Stop being a wuss. <laughs> Stop being a sissy. I don't want anyone to get upset with me. You know what? There's always someone that's going to be upset. But really, I think the only people that have ever been upset with me is a few from tossing brochures in their driveway. Any of the rest of the things that I've talked about here, no one's really been upset with me. And if you're that upset about an Avon brochure in your driveway, you've got some serious stuff going on in your life that you got to call the Avon lady and tell her how horrible she is because she put a brochure in your driveway. Um, but, 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 you know... If, if somebody wants Avon and they see an Avon brochure in their drive rate, they're going to call you. Those people that, that are upset, they're, they're not the Avon customer anyway. They're just some cranky old bitchy person that doesn't have anything better to do than call the Avon lady and complain. It's kind of sad, but maybe that was the most exciting thing that happened in their life that day. <laughs> maybe you were the highlight of their day. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's all for now. Just go out there and do something and stop talking yourself out of it. Stop talking yourself out of your success. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Where's my off button?